<laughs> Whoops, I didn't turn the mic on. Hey everybody, how we doing? I gotta turn the mic on so y'all can hear me. That's that's how this works. I've streamed before, at least once. I've streamed at least once before, so I have at least uh, that much of an understanding of what to do and everything. But how we doing everyone? Welcome in. I hope we're having a good one there. And uh, yeah, hopefully your weekend is starting great. Welcome into our weekly community showcase. We have a bunch, a bunch, a bunch of really good stuff to show off. Uh, first things we're gonna be doing are the parks. We're gonna have some, uh, we have two zoos and a habitat to look at. And we have two mods by the same person. Haha, <laughs> Leaf. Leaf pulling the, uh, Leaf is pulling the mod duty this week. So we'll take a look at some mods from Leaf. And then the return of the blueprints. I feel like the last, I think y'all have been building the last few weeks because, um, not that we haven't had a lot of blueprints, but, uh, this is like the most, like, blueprints that you can put into your zoo that we've had in a long time. So, uh, it's, the, it's the return of the blueprints, like Star Wars reference there. So, there we go. <laughs> but anyways, hope we're all having a good weekend so far. Good to see everyone. ZZ, how we doing, buddy? Good to see you. Harry's in the building. Leaf is here to talk about his mods. That's fantastic. What's up, Brody? How you doing? Rodney's in the building. I gotta, I gotta see if I can change Nightbot's name to Rodney. I gotta see if we can do that or not. Silver Fox and Heather holding down the, the fort as always. What's up, Bold? Peter's in the building. Moonlight, how are you doing? Uh, Mealy, we're gonna look at some awesome stuff from Mealy there. Gecko Boy, Seth is here. Just Goron starting, Just Goron, we're gonna look at some of his stuff there and uh, he's starting his second sign pack and it's awesome, awesome, awesome. So, uh, but let's go ahead and get started everyone because we do have a good amount of, let me get my notes up, there we go. We do have a good amount of stuff to go over with. So yeah, we're gonna start with a Z here. We're gonna start with uh, Poultra Zoo Part Two by Haku. I don't think I put that in the description there. I need to do that by Haku. Um, let me edit the description of the video real quick because I don't believe I put that in. Uh, but again, I hope you all are having a really good weekend. We have had a pretty relaxed weekend. I had a fun time playing some Valheim. Oh, excuse me, last night with... No, I didn't. I didn't even put the part two. There we go, part two by Haku. Yeah, I was playing uh, Valheim last night with some S-Dan and jaunty so that was a fun time we are having a great time playing some valheim and everything so um but yeah oh what's up sawdust how you doing buddy we're gonna look at a lot of sawdust stuff there clooster how you doing mo and domez <laughs> so again this is part two of haku zoo the haku zoo <laughs> this is part two here we have already uh looked at part one here that encompassed basically you see this white up here the little arctic we encompass draw a straight line across right there i think it was like Two weeks ago, maybe two or three weeks ago, we looked at um, the first part there from Haku. So if you'd like to go ahead and check out that first part um, in the video form or just download the zoo there. But this is part two and we're focusing on the jungles there. We are going into the jungles, um, I believe of Asia is the thing. So let's go ahead and make our way into the part two here. So I really like this. Um, and again, if you all haven't seen Haku, uh, a Haku build, <laughs> um, they are all about amazing foliage. We always compare them to the, they are the S. Dan Wolf of foliage, basically, where they take a whole bunch of foliage that maybe shouldn't always work together. They, they slap it into the park and like, oh, actually that works. That works really well. <laughs> so cool. Let's go ahead um, and take a look. So, oh, look at this. We have a big wide open. Oh, I like that. I don't even know what that is, but I like it. It's like a, you know, what it reminds me of, it's like where you dry paintings. I don't know. It's, it's not that, but it just reminds me of a painting drawing thing. Uh, we have some Komodo dragons. It's too bad that they're not the cool Komodo dragons. I, uh, I I uninstalled that mod last week already, but um, we have some Komodo dragons um, hanging out here. Very, very nice. Like that a lot. Like that a lot. I know, yeah, I miss this place, right? It's kind of nice to get um, really, you know, it's nice to get little monthly or bi-monthly uh, updates. Oh, I like the little uh, fallen over bit there um, from some of these zoos that we, uh, we've we been looking at there. So there's a little dead end plaza into the Komodo dragon. They're still cool. They're not a cool Moto dragon, but they're still cool. So, all right, let's go ahead and um, keep walking around. Uh, have a nice little uh, QSR, quick service restaurant place right there. And again, remember all this is very, very work in progress. And here's where here's where Haku just goes uh, nutso with their foliage. This is the um, the underwater like yeah hydrilla. I was gonna call it hydrangea. No, it's hydrilla. Uh, the underwater hydrilla plants from the new aquatic pack, and they use them as grass. Doesn't it look great? It looks really good, especially when the combination of uh, the in-game terrain grass that they have here um, with this kind of hydrilla and a few other of the grasses. It looks really, really good. So awesome. Let's keep walking over here. 
keep going this way. Um, what do we have? Oh, look at it. a little little scene over there. I love those little scenes that people make. I think we have a tiger, right? It feels like there should be a tiger in here. Feels like we should have a tiger. Let's go in above uh, above the view. It's so rich with foliage, it's hard to see what's in there. It's Jurassic Park. Wow, wow. Oh, there it is. No, it is a rhino. Hello. Hello, rhino. What are you doing over there? Come over here. Let me let me tell you a secret. Come here. There you go. You have a nice big thralling um, rhino exhibit there. I love all the little scenes that you put on the side there. I, I always uh, mention it whenever I can that uh, whenever people make these little scenes, I love the little scenes there. Hey, Megan, how you doing? How you doing? There? Oh, look, at, I forget that we have these Easter Head Island little things there. So, um, hey, hey, what's up, uh, Haribo? Uh, yeah, just in time. Uh, yeah. <laughs> what's up, buddy? Good to see you. Ooh, very nice. I've seen these um, shader, or shades before, I believe, somewhere. Uh, and they're really, really nice to use. We have some Indian elephants. I like how close you can get here. Oh, look at their, I love their habitat here. It's so rich. Look how high up the mountain and stuff goes. Just like, um, kind of, just kind of cascading down mountain feel. I just, I love how it feels. Get right up close to them. Hello, elephants. Hello, elephants. I love this habitat here. It's pretty big too, right? Really rich with foliage. Nice and big. Right behind it, you have this, oh, look at that. I love this uh, kind of checkered uh, food court thing going on here. That's really, really nice, yeah. Yeah, the fence is really nice, right? It's very realistic looking. Yep, yep, totally agree. That's very nice, I like that. I really like the, uh, again, the pattern going on there. That's a really cool, um, well-built out little uh, plaza area for the elephants and everything. Very nice, nice little planter here in the middle. Wunderbar. <laughs> nice Peter yeah yeah the shades are great aren't they there you go so um Haku if you're listening uh Leaf would love these shaders yeah they are very very neat very very neat all right let's go up here looks like we have some maybe gorillas we just have a nice gorilla um statue in the middle there at least oh I love it yeah the islands I always love when people do this I love when you get kind of the you know island feel for this wow look at how rich the foliage and everything is it looks great there's got to be gorillas in here or something there's gotta be gorillas here or something. There's a bunch of climbing structures. Oh no, no there's not. Look at that. Get off of the plant. I know the plant's made of concrete apparently, but get off of it like that. You're too fat. You're gonna break it. This zoo invests heavily into their plant budget. So they build fake plants made out of concrete. So it's really, really sh solid there. But this is an awesome uh, tiger habitat here. I love this. Yeah, yoink, I'll take that. Thank you so much. <laughs> That's a great little thing. Thank you. Well, y'all literally, 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 there it is, saw me do that when I was building a Thornton Hill Zoo, right? We loaded into Lucas's zoo, and I um, took one or two things from his zoo there. Um, we're going to give full credit, of course, but, you know, that's what you got to do. If you see something you like, just kind of... Thank you. That's a cool idea. I'll give you credit, though. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, I really, really like this. That's really, really good. What's up, Primal? How you doing? Whoa, look at it. This is like, uh, yeah, the Mighty Kong. I was literally about to say, this reminds me of the facade a little bit for the King Kong ride at Universal Studios. The newer one, obviously, the newer, the newest uh, King Kong ride. Look at this. This is cool. No blondes allowed. That's right. If you're blonde, the Kong is going to snatch you up. Kong is going to snatch you up, so uh, put a wig on, all right? Put a wig on or shave your head there. I love this. is so cool. You should download um, Lion Rider's mod to make the the gorilla really big. You know, the swamp gorilla that we were going to put in there? Oh, let's go in. I feel like there should be some really intense music going on right now. Like, hoo, 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 ha, 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 like wow look at them go it's awesome that's awesome um all right so that's racist guy how is it what <laughs> what are you talking about all right anyways um let's go look at the uh gorilla habitat here uh oh look at the middle thing they built like this little uh i don't even know what it's like a maybe it's like king or uh, not king kong it's uh godzilla's head right it's godzilla's head <laughs> Let's see, blonde is, the, no, blonde like hair, like blonde hair from the movie. It's it's from the movie, bro. <laughs> the lady had blonde hair in the movie. That, that's what they're referencing, I'm pretty sure. Um, but yeah, cool, you get these cool, uh, these cool little looks in here. I, I like this exhibit. That's a cool little idea for it. That's a pretty cool idea. All right, let's look at the next one. 
Let's see here. We have the Black Jaguar. The Black Jaguar. Ooh, you actually got a Black Jaguar too. Little play place here. Looks like a little education center. Let's see. Oh, I love this. Look at that little river going through. Oh, look, imagine how long it took to, uh, are these just the new faux rocks or is that the individual? Okay, so they, they put little groups everywhere, but it's a lot of little rocks there. Oh, I want to see the Jaguar uh, walking up over here. I want to see it walking up over here. Where are you? It could be anywhere. Again, Haku does a really good job with the uh, rich foliage and everything. Oh, is that like a little cave? Get out. Get out. It is kind of a little bit, but they can get back in here. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, there they are. There they are. They're in the. They're in a really nice spot there. Just hanging out. Hey, you're you're laying down next to some poop there, buddy. But you are majestic. Oh, I love that shot right there. That's a great little picture. I love that. <laughs> um, but yeah, I love this habitat. Now, where's the backstage area for them? Is there like a, I wonder if there's like a little backstage uh, get up for it. I mean, like, where's the, um, oh, they get it right there. Okay, nice. Yeah, two black jaguars. Now, wasn't it um, that they, in sandbox mode, you can get black jaguars a lot easier now? And like other, like albinos and stuff? Isn't that a thing? I love this little section over here, though. This is really, really cool. Little plaza area. Nice. What do we have in the middle here? We have in the middle. There you go. There are the gorillas. Or chimpanzees. Excuse me. Chimpanzees. We already saw the gorillas. Um, yeah, nice little chimpanzee habitat here. Smack dab in the middle. They even have a little backstage building. I like that. That's nice. Pretty nice there. Awesome. All right, let's see here. Is this a habitat here? I think it is. I think so. What do we have in here? I'm gonna cheat. Hippos! Hip, hip, hot, hip hop, hip hop anonymous. Where are they now? Now, now they'll play the game of finding the ginormous creatures here. Are they, are they gonna probably be sunbathing? I love how the uh, habitat is here. Huge, big uh, island in the middle and everything. Again, I just can't understate how great the uh, the foliage is. Oh, I bet they're gonna be hiding on the uh, little island right there, or maybe underwater. They they walk on on the uh, bottom of the uh, water, don't they? <laughs> there it is. I almost I thought it was a rock at first. Are you okay, buddy? You look so sad. Why don't you come out of the water for a little bit? Hi. He's got the sniff. It looks like he has the sniffles. He's like, he got the sniffles a little bit. It's all right, buddy. You're probably getting a cold because you're underwater all the time. And again, look at the underwater foliage and everything going on here. That's so good. <laughs> again, not to be understated, the uh, the high, uh, I always forget the name of these stupid things. They're good. The underwater hydrilla plants. They are um, good in so many different occasions. I sleep on them. I sleep on them way too much. But look at this huge little habitat there. Huge habitat there. The increased probability of getting them directly from the trade center. Nice. Okay, cool. And I just remembered, speaking of that, um, I just remember there's a mod for it too. There's definitely a mod where you can uh, get a higher probability. I don't know. In my opinion, if you're in sandbox mode, they should just have like, here's the Jaguars and they have like a drop down menu. Like what kind of Jaguar do you want to have? A black one, an albino one, uh, this, like all the different fur colors and stuff. Just like it's sandbox mode, my friend. Let me, let me just choose what I want to do in sandbox mode. Oh, uh, look at the little viewing area over here. That's awesome. What's up, Jake? What's up, Jake? I know underwater where the animals are. Yeah, it's really good. Even if like we can't see it, like there's no, it doesn't, I don't think there's any like underwater viewing area, but um, it's still cool whenever the animals still get a uh, nice underwater viewing area. I miss this over here. We have um, gharials, no, wait, crocodiles. We have crocodiles. And speaking of underwater viewing, we do have underwater viewing here. We do, oh, I love the curved, um, the curved, glass going around here to get the underwater viewing oh and i mentioned every single time but i hope we get an update where the glass isn't foggy i wish i hope we get an update where you can have an option to either have like this foggy glass or like really clear glass because oh it just you can you i can just imagine right now looking like through there but it's just so foggy and not there that like even if it looked like this like make it look like this instead of that but look at all the underwaterness there they always um haku is really good with using blah, using there it is using the uh weeping willows you notice that? They use like the weeping willows and, oh, I do this too. This is a really great tree to cover with your bottoms. Yeah, the uh, Cecropia, the Cecropia trees are a really good one to use as well. Yep, Cecropia, the um, rhubarbs and weeping willows are good for underwater there. That's awesome. That's awesome. 
about getting clean water ah nice oh maybe that's true maybe i just don't have the uh, clean, clean water thing uh, ticked on there but you know and that's that's cool there's like a little workaround for it but i just wish that our glass overall was a little bit more clear like our um the barrier glass can be pretty clear like the regular one um but you know like the glass panels like in the construction tab it's just a little bit like um grainy and and filtered looking a little bit hey it's our favorite uh umbrellas uh Stan and i use these all the time don't we we always use these there so um everyone else using those too good good um, i love that habitat that's awesome there Hey, what's up, Haku? You made it just in time for, I think, the end. <laughs> I think about the end there, because, yeah, this is where we uh, met up last time. Except the giraffes here. I think the giraffes are new um, as well. But, yeah, Haku, welcome in to the end of the tour of your second part of your zoo. Everyone's loving it. We need... Um, everyone is loving it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, just, like, just glass. Like, like a, wind cl a window cleaner just came up and squeegeed the glass... And now I can look through it and see the other side. <laughs> you know, glass. Not like glass from like ancient Roman times. That's all like fogged up and stuff. Like just glass. <laughs> but I think that is all of it. So I think next time, Haku, I want to see what's going to happen in this middle. You got me You got me curious here with your middle part there. Um, and I love the, the, again, the awesome foliage work, the creativity there with uh, bringing in King Kong and stuff like that. I think that's a really fun uh, little creative bit there. I love the Black Jaguar habitat might be my favorite. I think the Black Jaguar habitat might be my favorite just with the way the river looks there um, and all the foliage and everything. I think that's my favorite one there. Um, so yeah, no, everyone always uh, be sure to go subscribe to this, favorite it, comment on it, like it, all that fun stuff. Explore all the nitty gritty details for yourself there. Um, and yeah, go support the creator. So thanks so much, Haku, for uh, submitting. It's always awesome whenever you submit anything there. So yeah, amazing so far, isn't it? And it's only part two. It's only part two. Dude, so we do a new update for um, Planet Zoo. If I think we're another month away. I think we're another month away for uh for an update there so cool next up let's stick with let's stick with the zoos we're actually no, we're gonna go to a um habitat we're gonna go look at a habitat from lucas lucas has been on my channel more than i have i feel like lately <laughs> we have a we had lucas from last week with his awesome windor zoo um and then i went ahead and um uploaded windor zoos uh tour separately by itself on the channel so if you don't have time to sit there and watch the entire um the entire community showcase you just want to watch the zoo tours i'll probably be siphoning those up now it's only going to be for um the full zoo tour so like the one that we just did i won't put that up separately um only full zoo tours completely done zoo tours i'll be kind of editing out separately and uploading them separately on the channel so if you ever want to go back and look at those um you can there so um but anyways let's go ahead there's lucas there's lucas let's go ahead and um look at this galapagos uh turtle uh, habitat here so this is a separate um habitat here you know a separate uh map and everything like that because it is a little bit over the blueprint requirement to save it uh but like i always say it's really nice with these because um you can after we take a look at it uh you can go ahead and start your own zoo off of that off this really really cool habitat there start your own zoo or something but let's go ahead and unpause it here and look at this little uh area i love i actually um this is where the thumbnail came from so i was in here looking at uh this habitat um just beforehand and it is really really well done love all the gardening and uh, the little playground sets and everything yeah hopefully um haribo hopefully by the end of march right yep hopefully by the end of march we start hearing some stuff so uh but yeah just i love all the gardening and the walls and everything speaking of haribo these remind me of a haribo wall <laughs> these remind me of a haribo wall just anytime i see like little walls like this i'm like oh that looks like a haribo wall <laughs> oh this is awesome i didn't even see this before I didn't even see this before with the little bubble. I always forget that we have little bubbles now. You see the bubbles coming up? Love that little pond there. That's awesome. <laughs> um, yeah, the swing set was great, wasn't it? Yeah. Yep. All right, let's head in. This is the indoor area here. Now, real quick, what are you using, my friend? What are you using? Oh, you're being crazy. Gotcha. Gotcha. You're being... You're being crazy. East Asia painted timber narrow end. What the heck piece is this? Hold on. What in the heck East Asia painted? Oh, not West. What's West Asia? East, rather. East Asia painted 
timber, narrow. Oh, the I forget we have these. I'm gonna favorite the shit out of those. Thank you. Or <laughs> the crap out of those, excuse me. Um, okay, cool. That is a great texture, and you can recolor it. That looks so nice. That looks so nice. So um these are not no, they're not yours, right? They have that feel though. <laughs> um Did you get switched out again? That's funny, uh Heather. It does that to you all the time. Look at the indoor here. Look at the indoor. And we're going to look behind us, too, because I just noticed there's a little painting that we're going to look at. Um, oh, look at the heating lamps over here. Really nice use there. I uh, love this indoor area, though, right? Look how it's a little bit curved, too. Just I think, right? Am I looking at this wrong? No, it's like a little bit curved. It's a little touch of it. It's special. Um, but, man, I love the way this looks. Love, love, love the way this looks there. Um, and again, we've mentioned this, I think, before, but this trick that I think Ruble kind of started to get the trend on, I'm sure it was done before him, but uh, Ruble Trillions in um, his zoo got this kind of started where you sink doors into rocks um, a little bit. So it looks like, um, that's kind of how you see with um, habitats and small exhibits, how uh, zookeepers and other people kind of get into the habitats. It, they're usually like rock facade doors. So that's like, that's such a good little trick to do. Um, so yeah, hopefully more of you can put that into your zoos there. So there we go. Nice. I love this little exhibit. And then behind us here, um, I know that this one on the right is a blueprint that we're going to look at today. Uh, we have the Galapagos Islands uh, map here. And again, this is going to be a blueprint we're going to look at that's separate today. So that's awesome. And then the Galapagos giant tortoise uh, sign there. So holy cow, Lucas, that is fantastic. And then I just noticed this too. Um, he made a nice, you know, a nice tile, tile floor there. Y'all are nuts. <laughs> All right, let's keep going here. Y'all are nuts <laughs> in the best way possible. <laughs> oh, man. There's a lot of great ideas, right? There's a lot, a lot, a lot of great ideas. Uh, let's keep walking over this way. We'll take the next path. I just love all the different terrain um, changes, all the little planters and everything. Very nice. Very, very nice. Oh, yeah, here we go. There you go. Nice overhead view of the, um, of the habitat. We all already have another uh, terrain height to go up to. All the nice little rocks put everywhere. Again, if you're not sure what these rocks are, these are really, really handy to use. From the South America pack. Uh, well, this is from the faux aquatic pack rocks. But yeah, this in uh, combination with this here, the Temple Stone support beams. What do they call it? Rubble? There you go. Uh, those two put in combination, you see, really gives a nice uh, debris rock, right? Just uh, not not like a solid rock. Kind of gives that nice gravelly debris kind of rock uh, feel. So something else right behind us, we have our keeper talk. And then when I first loaded in here, I think we missed it a little bit. Um, but over here, there is a keeper um, talk, like hidden. I think it's inside like one of the... There it is. Yep, right there. There, it's hidden right there. So every once in a while, you will get um, a keeper talk that happens over here. And it is so cool to see everyone up here. Because you even get guests that are up over this way. Like, sitting over here looking over like, oh, yeah. <laughs> like, talking and stuff. Um, also, I love this little uh, hanging... Uh, there's a little uh, vine wall over here. Awesome, awesome. Something else to note. We always like to point this out. You notice the stairs right here. But the little ramp there. So, um, guests of all accessibility can go ahead and access this there. Very nice, and then we have a nice ramp here leading up. And you get a nice uh, overview. Very, very nice, Lucas. Every every week we get something from Lucas that is uh, just done up really, really well. Here's our awesome backstage. Wouldn't expect anything less there. Hey, what's up, Sam? You know what, Let, yep, even did the backstage up all the way. Again, really wouldn't expect anything, uh, anything less from from Lucas here. Done all the way up the little chart going up there and everything, little eraser. What did you use to make the eraser? Oh, just two of the bracket signs put together? You clever duck. You clever duck. So there you go, and then this leads to, oh, and there's more! <laughs> Get the fuck out! <laughs> Get out of here right now! This is amazing! Look at the tile wall set. We have a, we have a tile wall set to look at later today by Wiser. Um, it's kind of similar to this. So those of you that are seeing these tile walls, I'm like, oh, I want to build the tile walls, but I don't want to spend every um, all day doing it. Uh, we have you covered later in the in the series to uh, download for your zoos. We have a modular tile wall set. We all get all the uh, heat lamps and everything in the back here. Man, oh man, Lucas, you uh you went to the next level, didn't you? Lucas went to the next level and harnessed something. Here you go with the spigots and everything. This is a downloadable. Th oh no, it's oh yeah, it's this. So you can recolor it and everything. Y'all forget about that piece? I, I sometimes forget about this piece here. You know, kind of forget that we have these uh, certain pieces. What is that? The, the classic tap pillar. 
you know, I might, I might make its way into my favorites, to be honest with you. So, uh, yeah, no, Lucas, Lucas went ahead and uh, <laughs> went. There you go. There's how you get in there. So, holy cow. Holy guacamole. There you go. All right. That's some good stuff there. Um, everyone, make sure to go subscribe, comment, like, favorite it. That definitely deserves it. That is awesome. <laughs> the whiteboard, right? Isn't that awesome? Lots of detail. Yeah. These tiles are so much smaller, though. Um, what are they made out of? Oops. Sorry, just Goron. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. It takes two seconds to load into it. It's not that big of a habitat. So go ahead and download it and uh, go check it out for yourself. <laughs> my, buddy, my bad. Uh, all right, last one. Let's go ahead and write last one. Yeah, last one is by ZZ. This is an update from um, a few weeks back from ZZ's awesome uh, zoo there. Whoops. New font pieces. There you go. There you go. Lucas says the font pieces. <laughs> I'll just have to download it. Yeah. Yeah. Claps all around. Very good. Very good. Yeah, there is a mod, I believe, Emma. I think you're right there. Hey, what's up, Lovro? Good to see you, buddy. Um, yeah, I believe there's a mod that just takes the um, hose part of that and uh, brings it out so you can use it a lot more, um, a lot more accessible there. Been waiting for this one. Yeah, the, remember the first uh, update we had from ZZ when we had that um, the cave and stuff like that. It was really good. So yeah, again, this is a update two from uh, ZZ there. So if you haven't already, uh, I guess go back and watch the first tour we did from a few weeks ago. Um, but yeah, let's see here what's going on. I can already tell we got a lot more going on. And I kind of cheated with this one a little bit. I kind of cheated a little bit because ZZ is posting on my Discord channel, where if you want to uh, submit anything, be sure to join my Discord channel and uh, submit things to the Community Showcase channel and everything. Um, but yeah, I saw on our Planet Zoo share uh, area, ZZ's been updating that channel a lot, so I kind of saw a little bit of stuff going on there, but uh, really excited to get a first-hand look at it. And again, the uh, great use of the um, a lot of uh, Mealy's uh, tree, custom-like palm trees, the, um, what are these called? Lipstick, that's right, the lipstick um, palms, the banana palms, everything. Really good use of uh, the undergrowth being these, um, these are on my favorites. Yeah, the tree, triodia grass. Yeah, really good foliage work there. I just love the feel as you come in here. It kind of reminds me a lot of uh, Disney's Animal Kingdom. Just like as you come in here, it feels like it gets warmer, right? Like I think it's uh, Animal Kingdom, Disney's Animal Kingdom, it gets like 10 degrees um, hotter as you get into the zoo, because there's so much foliage and like tropical plants and stuff. I feel like that as I'm coming into, I'm gonna mispronounce the name of the zoo, I already know I am. San Rakshan, San Rakshan uh, Zoo here. It feels like you're getting warmer as you're coming in. So cool, let's take a look at all the new stuff here. Man, it feels a lot more lush in here already. I believe that this wasn't really done up as much um, before. We got some fountains and, oh, it's really nice looking. Looking really nice there. Uh-oh, is Rodney drunk? Rodney might be drunk, Silver Fox. He, he had a long Friday night, so he kind of needs to uh, think about it there. So, sections coming soon. The Asian Adventure, Wilds of Africa, Wonders of South America, Path of the Primates, The Last Frontier, Slithering Snakes, and The Unforgiving Outback. Very, very nice. Means conservation in Hindi. Very nice. Cool. I love the, um, the back story there. I forgot to link ZZ's. Oh, I did? What the heck? Let's fix that right now. Let's fix that right now. Oh, you're right. My zoos section kind of got cut off there. Interesting. Thanks for bringing that up before we got too far into it. Thanks for bringing that up. There it is. I will put it in right now so you all can go and check this out for yourself. Check it out, dudes. It's, it's cool. It's tight. All right. Uh, there you go. It is updated. Tis updated, my friends. Oh god, Discord's freaking out. Here we go. Cool, all right, let's head on in. And again, if you didn't see the first um, tour, we toured over here and this big mound right here is an entire indoor complex there. It is awesome. So be sure to check that out um, if you didn't catch that the first time there. So we're gonna go left to right, I think. Right? I think we're gonna go left to right there. So, oh, on the ceiling of the entrance? Yeah, really good, right? I love this little uh, fountain entrance here. I believe that was there last time, but um, cool. Let's go ahead and head into the dynamic deserts. The dynamic deserts. And apologies if we look at stuff that we've already looked at before. Like, I think we saw the wolves before. I think we saw the wolves before. It's hard to sometimes keep track of all the different zoos and updates that we have going on. So, oh, yeah, I remember. Yeah, this wasn't even done up at all. Remember, this was our little uh, viewing area. Yeah, I totally remember that. So, uh, yeah, this is all done up over there now. Very nice. Um, that goes over there. 
Oh, I didn't even see this path. It's all uh, the foliage is really built up. Your rock work is really, really good. Uh, Zizi has went ahead and taken the uh, faux rocks and amped them up to 11. But these go to 11. And here we go with the meerkats. And since it's Zizi, I'm sure everyone is familiar with Zizi's implied animals. We're going to get to see a ton of animals um, real in the game and implied there. And these are amazing. Look at the little meerkats. Oh, there's a little tunnel here. You can see where it goes too. Like it goes in there and comes out there. Oh, this is amazing. Little meerkat village. These are the most adorable little things. And I mention this every time because I've, I have uh, seen people be like, oh, I don't want to download like, uh, download implied animals. They don't move around or anything. And my argument for that is exhibit animals don't move around either. Um, and they just, I don't know, implied animals add so much character to uh, to a little build there. So uh, that's amazing. I love that. <laughs> Leaf is freaking out. <laughs> Leaf is just like, I can't handle the cuteness. <laughs> that's awesome. All right, let's head over this way. I'm sure we can just sit there and watch meerkats all day. Even though they're implied, we can still watch them all day because they're pretty awesome. Uh, right behind us here, we have... Oh, look at they're all eating. We have this um, South African Oryx. There you go. Oh, they're so great, aren't they? Yeah, the meerkats are great. I uh, love this habitat. Very nice. Oh, look at how overgrown it's starting to look. Love that. Y'all know I'm a sucker for overgrown stuff. We have a nice backstage area, some uh, stables and stuff like that. It's awesome. <laughs> That's awesome. Very good. All right, let's keep going here. Can't believe meerkats are. I know. It feels like we, it feels like we need like a small animal pack, doesn't it? It feels like that's like a direction we should be heading in. Is like a small animal pack after like birds or something. Fennec fox. Oh, look at the little dude. I love these little uh, huts that you made for the small animals. That's a little itty bitty dude. You're so twiny. My little little guy. I love they, I love their little uh, the little huts there that they have. <laughs> awesome. All right, let's see. Back across from it. Oh, these little planters are great too. Just using the um, East Asia stone planters. That's a good idea. Come on over this way. We have the desert warthog. Hello, warties. We have the desert warties. Awesome terrain changes there. Oh, yeah, really cool because when they go up there and eat, you get some really good views of them there. Very nice habitat there. And again, your rock work is impeccable. It's amazing. Fennec foxes are so cute. Yeah. <laughs> or maybe a North America pack. There you go. Yeah, there you go. All right, over here we have... What is this? Oh, like a little... Uh, a little like Native American like teepee scene or something? Or just like a little uh, education area? Always love when people kind of do those. Let's see, make sure we're not getting all turned around here. Yep, we just looked at all those things there. Nice little backstage. The start of a backstage, right? See the starts of a backstage. Awesome. Go past our little scene there. Like the terrain change here. You can see the pathway going down and everything. Love a good terrain change. Love a good terrain change. Chuck, the Nubian Ebix from 99 to 2001. Rip in peace, Chuck. So that's like the third animal I think we've seen with a monument kind of um, dedicated to it. Oh, what's over here? We have the Nubian Ebix. Oh, hello, Ebix. Ebins. We have Nubian Ebins over here. Oh, nice. You're making a FedEx Fox mod. Nice. That's pretty cool. Um, love these little guys. Look at that. <laughs> uh, oh, there it is. Yeah. Hi. You're in there. Look at our timing. Our timing's great. The animal actually was indoors when we came over here. <laughs> it's like it was planned. Uh, let's go over this way. More terrain changes. Love seeing them. Nice little um, Indian vulture. Yeah. Nice aviary here. Look at this. Love that um, ZZ's able to actually put all of their uh, animals, you know, throughout a zoo and everything. That's fantastic. So, uh, looks like we're kind of getting into some, um, yeah, a little bit less done stuff there. Or that's that entire area. I think that's that, enti that entire area, pretty much. I think I missed this over here. What are you? No, you're the meerkats. We've seen you. <laughs> um, but cool. I think I got it all, ZZ. I think we got it all. That is awesome. I love how that area came out. What was this area called again? It was called the... Um, there it is. The Dynamic Deserts. Awesome. The Dynamic Deserts. So, very good. Oh, hey, we have this little um, plaza over here. The Lazy Lizard Bar and Grill. Oh, I found my new hangout spot. <laughs> I missed a tortoise? Oh, heck. We'll, we'll, uh, we'll go look at the tortoise. But the Lazy Lizard Bar and Grill. I found my hangout spot all day. I found it. Nice little... Oh, I like your uh, men's and women's spot there. That's really clever. <laughs> Very nice. Yep, I'm going to go ahead and I'll, I'll take a seat right here. You all go ahead. 
Go ahead. I'm good right here. All right, let's go ahead and um, see the... Oh, here's this over here. Oh, the petting zoo. We didn't see the petting zoo yet. Heck. Well, let me make sure I didn't uh, miss the tortoise. I missed the tortoise over here, though. I find the tortoise. Where's the tortoise? Tortoise! <laughs> didn't respond oh is it right here it's right there i got it i got it zz i know zz's like furiously trying to type like it's right over here and yeah over by the tents perfect so we have the african spurred tortoise awesome and again i love these little huts that you made those are fantastic awesome 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 okay let's head into this is the um the area that we're going to go into now the petting zoo this is where i kind of cheated because i am also kind of making a petting zoo slash children's zoo so right when i saw zz was uploading some awesome pictures of their petting zoo i was like hey i gotta cheat a little bit hi the doors are actually open it's fun <laughs> cool so welcome to the petting zoo and oh hey we get to show off a mod now too so these are supposed to be indian pea fowls but um chickens we have a we have a mod here from from uh, Leaf, uh, it's called Ridgeway Park. Yeah, as long, just submit it, Brody. Yep, be sure to submit it to our Discord, buddy. But um, okay, so we have the Indian pea fowl, but the females are turned into chickens. <coughs> <coughs> oh, excuse me, that sounded chestal. From Leaf, these are made by Leaf here, and these turned out so good. I love it. <laughs> so yeah, here you go. Here's the um, the uh, what are these called officially? Leaf. My bad. Um, the Rhode Island Red Hen. There you go. The Rhode Island Red Hen. Um, and yeah, there you go. So now you have official hens in game if you like to. And I'm, oh, I can't wait to get my petting zoo going now. So, um, awesome. Oh, and speaking of the exhibit here and everything, I like the little, um, posts that you put on the trees and everything. So they can't really, uh, mess with them too much there. So yeah, there you go, Harry. Yep. There you go. Yeah. The chickens are great, right? Oh, look at all these planters and everything here. Look at all these planters and everything. Little, uh, statue in the middle. Oh, I love this. This gives me, um, uh, Zoo Tycoon 1. Like, it gives me big Zoo Tycoon 1 vibes right here with the different statues. Like, couldn't you make a gorilla statue in that? That kind of looks similar to this. Oh, that looks really good. You have your tortoises over here, the uh, giant tortoise. You working on one right now, too? Yeah. Nice. We have some doll sheep there. They lay the brown eggs. Oh, okay. Gotcha, Herman. Nice. I know, uh, Leaf, isn't it a great style? It's, it had, it, he nailed, or they nailed that, um, just that small petting zoo farm kind of feel. I can, I hope I nail this same vibe. Oh, look at the um, playground over here. Look at the playground. That's awesome. I can't, I don't think this is uh, just Goron set. It looks like you kind of built this out yourself. That's awesome. Really well done there. You're obsessed with the stained wood. Yeah, it looks really good. It turned out really nice. This area is so alive. It has so much character to it as we're walking through it. And it's it, it changed completely, right? Um, I just kind of was reminded that we're in this same zoo that has that lush foliage entrance with all the uh, tropical vibe. Like, we're still in that same zoo, but it, like, it, it switched um, feels completely. There's our camels there. <laughs> I believe he's going to do a photo shoot. There you go. Yeah, get some, uh, get some uh, Ansel pics going there. The llama. Oh, that's a, that's a, look at that fancy llama. Look at your face. Look at your face, llama. That's one of the most beautiful llamas I've ever seen in this game. And it's gonna, it's gonna poop. Every, every stream, everyone, every single stream that we do, whenever I come up to an animal, it takes a poop. I, I swear to Bob, it takes a poop. I've never seen the, uh, the llama with that fur variation before, though. So, awesome. Oh, there's another one. What's up, Goy? What's up, little guy? There's another one there, too. You have all the different llama colors. You have all the different ones. <laughs> see, yeah, regulars are, are, are laughing their asses off now because they know it's true. Every single time we go and see an animal, it has to, it has to take a poop. <laughs> um, oh, hey, look, this little backstage area. I didn't even see that. Look at all this little backstage stuff. Oh, really good. Really, really good. So, all right, I think that we covered part two of... 
Sanrakshan, Sanrakshan uh, Zoo. By the time that the zoo's done, I'll be able to pronounce it right. So, hey, make sure you all go and check this zoo out for yourselves. Like Leaf's doing, Leaf's going to go take some awesome pictures there um, of the entire area. But yeah, go look at all the nooks and crannies. If you missed the first part of the zoo, um, again, we're not going to show it off here. I'm going to tempt you. Uh, go and check out the Cave of Mysteries. There is a Cave of Mysteries. Uh, that encompasses this entire area there. It's really, really cool. So, uh, big shout out to ZZ. Big shout out to ZZ. We're, and we're not done with ZZ either. We have some more ZZ stuff to look through uh, later on there. So, very, very nice. So, cool. See what the next DLC brings, uh, theme and animal wise. Yeah. Well, we're hoping it's like in East Asia, right, with the sun bear. So it'll probably fit right into your um, your zoo there pretty well. So, cool. Let's go ahead and um, I think that is it. Yes, that is it. Let's head into this week's Community Showcase. This week's Community Showcase. Is Beezy here? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, Beezy's here. Probably working on some other ridiculous map. <laughs> Whether it's an ostrich farm or an Arctic research center, Beezy is always on it. All right, let's go ahead and... um. You know, we're going to start with the mod one more time. We kind of already showed... Oh, shoot, I forgot. Um, Leaf, your other mod is in the desert biome, isn't it? Let me... We're going to have to show that off at the end here. But we're going to show off the, the, uh, the hens one more time. Um, just to kind of start it off there. So, um, Heather or Silver Fox, if y'all didn't before, go ahead and share the hen um, mod there link. So, uh, but yeah, here we are by Leaf. The one of two mods by Leaf today. I love the way it moves. <laughs> I love the way it just kind of like looks around like a hen and everything. So, yeah, if you were um, go ahead and doing a farm build or a petting zoo or anything like that, uh, Leaf has you covered there. So... Oh, is it really busy? Dude, I can't wait. Good timing too, by the way. Good timing. So there's one of two mods. The other mod is we have to be in the desert biome and I think it's changing the short grass or the long grass, or you know, the short grass in the desert biome to a bright green, which is kind of cool. I'm expecting some people to make some like Arizona, um, Arizona golf courses. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead. And that's not by Peter. That's by Sawdust. Hold on. <laughs> I gotta fix this. There we go. All right, so we're going to start our community showcase here with Sawdust Dioramas. So from Sawdust here. Yeah, exactly. Sawdust, you need to do it for your fairground build. Yeah, uh, they are doing an awesome little fairground uh, build that they've been um, updating weekly there. And yeah, we have a few fun things here from uh, that build. We have the Porta Potty here, the Porta John, the relief station, as it were. <laughs> We also have the pinball machines here. Two different pinball machines for you to put into your um, arcades. I want to see some arcades. I got to see some arcades. And then this awesome uh, picnic bench here. Now, I believe, did I, I, I miss anything, right? I didn't miss anything from you, did I? I feel like you had a lot more, or I was typing more with your name in it. <laughs> oh, well, yeah, and the fireworks. We'll show that off too. But I feel like I missed a pinball machine. I want to make sure I didn't. Yeah, here they are, the arcade machine. Where did that download? I am downloaded too. Why isn't it here? There's one more. There's an arcade machine here. Um, yeah, we'll look at that because we got to look at your fireworks. The arcade. There it is. I knew we were missing one. Cool. And then they made an arcade machine as well to go with this. There you go. So a little Pac-Man. And hey, look at the sides of it. They even made the, <laughs> the little Pac-Man and everything. Um, that's awesome. Cool, and let's look at it at night time so we can show off the last few here because... Oh, look at that! Look at that! Sawdust went ahead and brought fireworks into the game and they're super easily recolorable. That's why I put three of them out here. They're ridiculously easy to recolor. You want pink fireworks? Cool, you got pink fireworks. Boom. Boom. So, yeah. I think Sawdust is just like, you know what? I think I, I think we should make Planet Coaster 2. <laughs> A fairground edition. Um, this is the fairground update to Planet Coaster like we never got, basically. There you go. So, yeah, no, Sawdust is on a whirlwind of creativity there with this new fairground uh, build going on. And, um, yeah, no, make sure you all get those because they are very, very handy there. Yeah, pow! <laughs> <laughs> so very very good awesome stuff sawdust awesome stuff uh cool next up we have from peter 
We have from Peter Leader, we have the, what is this, the realistic uh, holding area? Yeah, realistic holding area done by Peter there. So, yeah, lots of stuff from uh, Sawdust. Yeah, it was great. So, hey, what's up? Uh, what's up, Goat? How you doing? How are you doing? We, here we have a nice facade there, all, uh, done up with all of the uh, air conditioning units, all that kind of fun stuff. But love the facade there. Uh, have a nice little backstage entrance and stuff. So the outside looks awesome. I uh, have some really great signs here and how to do everything. So I was able to kind of follow the uh, instructions there and do a few things. And as we head in, you backstage nerds. Ah! <laughs> well, this is on stage, but it's like a backstage on stage look at stuff going on there. So there you go. Look at this. We have a lot more to look at behind us too. But all the little, um, you know, the new decals that they put out. Very, very nice. Very, very nice here. That's where we just were. I love the new signs that people are putting up, all these new cork boards. People are making their own um, papers and stuff like that. That's such a cool little detail there. There you go. All the different things that they use for the animals there, all the storage. Excuse me, I'm a little stuffed up from twacking. Yeah, I love the look of this. Isn't it great just score on? Yeah. Yep, the clipboards are great, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the decals, definitely, don't forget everyone, they're free, yes, they were a free update too, under props, and then decals. Yeah, we have all the, we have the Planet Zoo uh, clipboard there, which I use all the time. Um, and then we also have, you know, the, the vents and everything. So here's some of those vents right here. That's literally that one. It's quite literally this one. So <laughs> yeah, those are amazing to use. Don't forget about there, uh, those. Um, backstage, let's see, does it just go, oh no, there is, look at this. A whole little backstage area here too so yeah well done peter there very very well done all the yeah the detail right all the amazing detail and it's great because it's not specifically for you know x y or z animal i would just expect maybe tigers or some other maybe carnivore bigger animal to maybe be, maybe be back here um but you know it's not um set in stone and the only thing i added is the barrier group here just in case you're wondering i added barriers but you can also put down paths and stuff to kind of make it more look more complete so yeah big shout out to peter and don't forget all these items that we're looking at here you can just go ahead and plop into your zoo uh willy-nilly they're not over the habitat requirement or anything you can just plop it on in there so <coughs> excuse me if they're free nice nice so hey tobes what's up buddy hey wiser love a wolf how you doing a bunch of people i just see in there Next up, from Mealy. Hey, we have a few volumes of ducks coming your way and other um, fowl. <laughs> so we have one, two, and three. Three volumes of uh, implied birds there coming in. And yeah, the, I was just saying, I think a few weeks ago, um, how we need just more like, yeah, swans and ducks and geese and just like squirrel and, you know, just small little natural animals that you see, um, not necessarily in a habitat, but just kind of hanging out. Look, you got your Canadian geese, you know, just your hanging out animals that when you go to a zoo, you're like, oh yeah, there goes a chipmunk or yeah, there goes a duck, you know? And, and I think Mealy has, here you go, Mealy's Waterfowl Volume 1, Swans and Geese. Uh, while some of these birds are technically ducks, I'm still grouping them here based on their current uh, February 2021 common name. So that's really cool. I like that Mealy did that. I like that Mealy did that. Here's um, Volume 2 of Ducks. So there's all the different ones there. Look at the amount of detail. Isn't that amazing? Isn't that amazing? So just start littering your ponds and your, even your walkways. Can you imagine just like starting to put like, I, I can imagine like swans and geese especially, geese especially, just walking down the walkways of your zoos. I bet that would add just like such a, a bunch of little character to it. So <laughs> um, you don't have to use custom animals, but should you start? I think they're great. I think custom animals are great. Do you mean like these custom animals or mods? Um, the implied animals here that we're looking at, I think are fantastic. They do the same thing that an exhibit animal does that we have in game in my opinion they don't you know they don't uh, sure they don't move but neither does an exhibit animal and people love using exhibit animals so there we go mealy's waterfall volume three more ducks more ducks yeah quackers detail <laughs> so there you go everyone again i i need to remember to go into like thornton hill zoo and um other projects and just anytime there's like a little pond or yeah you know, like a walkway or i don't know just a little area to start putting in little ducks and swans and chipmunks and you know little things like that little things like that hey yeah mealy fantastic job my friend fantastic so cool moving on from mealy stuff we have roove we have seth a our weekly contributor Mr. Seth Roove there. All right, so the first one from Seth. 
first one, let me get my notes here, which are all out of sorts. <laughs> they are in no order whatsoever, so I have to kind of sift through. Um, there we go. The first one is going to be the Dilophosaurus diorama from Seth there. And yeah, Seth's dinos. So if you all haven't seen, this is your first time hanging out with us. Hi, welcome. What's up? Um, Seth is doing a collection of dior excuse me, dioramas with dinosaurs. And here's another one there uh, from Seth. And Seth always likes us to look at it at nighttime because it, it's like red and like creepy. You're like, wow. <laughs> so good job there with the ever growing collection of dinos. Dioramas. We have a viewing gallery here. This is a very um, utilitarian kind of industrial kind of um, viewing gallery there. So if you need a quick uh, viewing gallery for any of your zoos, franchise zoos especially, I think this would be really, really good for you. There you go. And then we have this double decker. What'd you call it? The double layer staff facility. There you go. The double layer staff facility. Um, from a set there. So yeah, you have your first story here and then, you know, imagine putting the path up and everything and then you have a double one there. So I think those two are really great for franchise um, mode zoos to kind of plop in and get going really quick. Um, and then, yeah, I love uh, Seth's little dioramas going on there. So very, very good. So, <laughs> oh no, did, did, who let Dennis need, uh, Nedry in here? Someone go sick the, uh, the Deloss, yeah, someone sick that dinosaur out of him and get him, make him blind again. What the heck? What in the heck, a Rooney? <laughs> um, awesome. Good job there, Seth, as always, my friend. Let's go ahead and. Oh, Lucas! We're not done with you yet, Lucas. We're not done with you yet. So, the first thing up here from Lucas070 <laughs> is there it is, the Windor Zoo asset. So, again, those of you that saw uh, Windor Zoo from last week, I think Lucas was mentioning that they were making a collection of stuff. Here is um, some of our favorite things and some of Lucas's favorite things um, that we saw last week from Windor Zoo. Uh, these are amazing. I love these climbing structures. Who is it um, else? Oh, uh, Wyatt. Wyatt Andrews also has a really cool, realistic um, climbing structure structure for like gorillas and primates and stuff um gorillas and primates both of them <laughs> um this is a really nice add-on to that there but yeah really great stuff here nice little um retaining walls or stuff like that for your fountains uh little light posts um the canoes and everything look at all the little details you can throw into your zoos there so really really uh, good looking out to uh, put that up there lucas uh next one is the galapagos islands which you looked at this before in the galapagos tortoise uh, habitat there right but uh still nice again you can get this by itself um i think it was ricey as well i think ricey has one that's kind of similar to this for the komodo dragon so um that's really cool that you can get the galapagos islands they have the um you can get the uh, Komodo dragon and stuff like that too. So uh, yeah, really nice detail there. Yeah, magic, right? Yeah, it's just, you see the magic going on? This is, do y'all do y'all see what, what we have to deal with here? A ghost is what it is. It's a ghost. It's a hot dang ghost. <laughs> <laughs> and then the, uh, the last thing here from Lucas is the children's education. It's children's education. Um, and these are French. I remember when we saw these last week and they just like blew me away. Um, I'm totally gonna use these, Lucas, by the way, in my, in Thornton Hill Zoo, Children's Zoo, cause these are just like, again, French, like just French kiss. Just so, like so original and everything. Like right here, you can totally tell what this is. Like the spinning thing, like spinning the cubes around and stuff like that. You see all the pens and pencils and all the detail, like, um, doing the stenciling and stuff like that. Ah, so cool, so cool. So yeah, there you go, Lucas070. Make sure y'all are going and subscribing to all those and uh, using them for your zoo there. Big, big shout out to you. Leaf! Here's leaf stuff. <laughs> Here's some more leaf stuff. Buy leaf, that's right. Oh, I like that you did this, by the way. Uh, creators, don't, don't be ashamed to do this, by the way. Let people know who they got their uh, stuff from. That's buy leaf, that's right. So from leaf, we have, I wanna get the right name for it here, going through my notes. There it is, the faux aquatic decorations pack. Uh, Leaf has been awesome with his faux decorations pack. He also did the Bonobos um, and stuff like that uh, pack as well earlier, but now we have some awesome aquatic pack stuff. Look at these, look at these. Can you imagine just putting these inside of an aquarium and stuff? Absolutely. Absolutely, yeah, the corals are amazing, right? Oh man, what's up, Claire? You've been lurking, but I want to say hi. Good, thanks for saying hi. <laughs> Good to see you, Claire. There you go. So the very, very nice stuff from Leaf there. Be sure to uh, give that a favorite. Gets, I want to see some aquariums. Between uh, ZZ, Drock, 
um, and Melee's implied animals, and now Leaf and a few others making the awesome coral and stuff. I want to see some aquariums. Let's see them. <laughs> Let's see them. Um, cool. And then the uh, next thing here. Oh, just Goron. Just Goron just finished, right? They just finished last week their uh, volume one for their signs for the Beaks Bergen. And now we're moving on to uh, volume two. And uh, just Goron already coming out with a bang. Already. Look at the little red panda. Look at the red panda, it just it feels so bad. I wanna give you a million dollars so no one ever hurts you. Like that's what the point of the sign is for, right? But look at these guys. <laughs> and just Gora got pizza. So <laughs> that's that's perfect. Insane details, yeah. Oh that's that's the thing, right? That's a good thing to bring up there, Megan B, is the size. Is the size. Let me bring out a Frank. And if you don't know, Frank is made by Mr. Domez. And uh He's about the size of a person in the game. But yeah, like one of these signs is, you know, about as about, you know, a normal person's like neckline. They're perfect. They're absolutely perfect. So I can't get over that red panda though. <laughs> the red panda makes me feel so bad. I want to give it a million dollars. Someone quick. Frank! That's right, Frank, get out of here. <laughs> so there you go. Now, um, for those of you that don't know, we're gonna see this um sign pack um evolve a lot over the course. Volume one, I'll show you that real quick. Volume one is here. So you can see that um, Just Goron does about, what is that there? One, two, three, four. So um, yeah, a few every single time. It looks like just kind of random amounts. But yeah, so that's volume one. This is volume two there. So can't wait to see that evolve over time there. Nice. So all right, let's move on to the next one from Maurice 20. Maurice 20 has two very, very teeny tiny small little detailed things that are just, just, just so small. Uh, so the first thing we have here is a little cart for the little dudes to hang out in. So there's their little uh, little cart. Can imagine putting that up in a, like a guest relations area or like, yeah, cart rentals um, area and stuff like that. Uh, and then we have our little barbecue. We got our barbecue. We had, a, we had a barbecue, what was it, last week or two weeks ago from Sawdust as well, but that was kind of a cool, like, steampunky industrial one. And this is, like, straight up, like, yeah, just like a grill daddy. <laughs> this is, like, just straight up, like, a, you know, suburban dad, <laughs> you know, just kind of having a grill. It's perfect. It's perfect. I had to bring Frank out here so y'all could see the, uh, the height and everything and all that fun stuff. But, yeah, it's just perfect. It's great. So, there you go. Big shout out to um, Maurice 20. Uh, for submitting those they're fantastic <laughs> they're fantastic there only like nine more uh for your own zoo and after that i'll do some in-game animals sounds good just i can't wait can't wait so very very yeah frank be grilling yeah we need a frank um we need a, a griller frank leaf or whatever other frank sun uh sun size we need like a him to be wearing like an apron that has like an f on it for frank and he has like a like flipping like a burger flipper <laughs> that'd be awesome <laughs> all right cool next uh oh wiser wiser came in hot this week wiser came in hot with some awesome stuff there so the first thing here from wiser is you were near the top weren't you there you go. yeah modular tile wall set we have the modular tile wall set. So again, those of you that were really, really liking the tile walls and everything, but you didn't really want to mess with it yourself, which I totally understand, um, Wiser has gone ahead and made you a modular tile wall set. And um, now that uh, Wiser has made this, we're gonna get this in game. It's kind of an inside joke starting back from Planet Coaster days. Um, we used to have people that would make implied rides out of like scenery pieces. And then like the next pack, we would get those rides after like making implied rides for them or whatever. Kind of the same thing I'm hoping um, happens here where Wiser is now uh, painstakingly taking the time to make these awesome modular uh, tile sets. I hope the next pack we get an in-game flexi color tile wall set now. <laughs> Just so like, this is amazing, but it'll make it up. Who, who did it last time? Oh, Nicholas Lion Rider. Lion Rider did it last time with the faux um, colored rocks. He made a recolorable rock set. And then like two weeks later, Planet Zoo announced um, the aquatic pack that had uh, full faux, faux colored rocks in it so it's just like if you build it frontier might listen to you and just be like oh i like that idea yoink <laughs> um the, up next from wiser though that probably won't make it into game but it's still an awesome uh scenery set here is the seal crane right is that what it's called is that what, yeah the seal crane here by wiser so you kind of see yeah if you have a backstage area for um your seals or anything kind of 
of how they lift up the uh, seals and stuff like that. I remember seeing this in um, at Disney. When I worked at Disney at Epcot, they would use a machine like this at the seas to uh, transport larger animals. So that's really cool. Billboards and tiles next pack. That's right, Wiser. That's right. <laughs> Rip. Rip in peace. Oh, and then this. I love this. I have to start using this in my harbor-themed areas. Um, this is a talking point theme, right? Yeah, harbor-themed animal talks cover. Love this. This is such an adorable little um, addition here. But yeah, this is an animal talks cover. So uh, those of you that don't really like how the animals, uh, the animal talk thing looks on the pathways, uh, you can go ahead and cover it up with this harbor themed one there from Wiser. So good, good stuff there. <laughs> it's a great idea. Yeah. Yeah. Really good idea. So cool. All right. And next, uh, last but not least, last but not least, and then we have to go show off um, Leaf's Desert uh, mod real quick. From ZZ, we have... Two implied animals. Two more implied animals. We have the platypus. The pl 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 platypus. Yeah, isn't it great? Yeah, it was really good. <laughs> yep, it covers it up. It covers it all the way up. So, um, but yeah, here we go. Platypus from ZZ. So, oh, I want to see some platypus exhibits. I want to see some platypus exhibits. I don't think I've ever seen a platypus in a zoo. So they would probably have to be indoors, right? Because they're like so crazy <laughs> they're like they're such a crazy animal or whatever yeah i've never seen one in, inside of a zoo before so i don't even know how you'd hold them and then next up we have from um zz we have the common wombat and it's funny we have a user on our discord channel named um combat wombat right that's sam's name yeah combat wombat so right when they saw this they're like oh i love the wombat <laughs> we have the common wombat as well uh yeah the animals down under that's right that's right. I know. It's like, what else does ZZ need to make? Every single week, we get awesome implied animals from ZZ. And it's like, dude, you're going to make all the animals eventually. <laughs> oh, man. So, awesome. There you go. So, there are the um, animals there. Or animals. There's all the uh, workshop items. And again, don't forget, <clears throat> all these items are under the 4,000 piece limit to make, a ha um, make it a workshop item and everything. So, you can plop these into your zoos whenever you want. So, we better be seeing some arcades. You have a nice jumping off point for our backstage. I need to see ducks. We have so many ducks from Melee. We need to see those there. Uh, the dioramas continue to evolve there. Some awesome modular tile sets. I'm going to use the heck out of those. That is really, really useful. More implied animals that are always great. Some teeny tiny little detail stuff there from um, Maurice. Um, just Goron starting on another sign pack for everyone. Leaf with his corals and everything. We better see some aquariums and stuff. And Luke is coming in hot with um, these awesome uh, sorted items there. So very, very good there. And then, of course, last but not least, I can't leave without looking at the old, the old hen. Okay, <laughs> All right, let's go to the desert map real quick. We're gonna go to the desert map real quick, and then we will, uh, then that's gonna be it. That's gonna be it for our weekly showcase there. And again, I'll go ahead and reiterate, if you haven't already, go ahead and join um, our Discord there. If you haven't joined Discord, Discord's a totally free, it's basically like a social media kind of like forum, not forum, but it's like a social media platform where a lot of us talk. Uh, join my Discord and go to the um, go to the Community Showcase channel and you can submit your showcase stuff there. And the submitting stuff, you can do a whole zoo, you can do half of a zoo, um, you can do a foliage set that you really like, you can do a habitat that you like, it doesn't matter. Go ahead and submit it and it will be fun. It could be a mod. Um, Go for it there. All right, so this grass is supposed to switch out from the um, from the normal desert grass to the temperate, I believe it is. I believe that's what this does. Did I do it right, Leaf? Is that what it's supposed to look like? I don't know what the in-game uh, grass is supposed to... Oh, I think I did. Yeah, so it's just a lot more green. It's a lot more green there. Yeah, nice. So my immediate first thought for this, I want to see a golf course. I want to see someone make some links. I want to see like a nine or 18 hole golf course that's set in like Arizona or something like that. I think that is the perfect excuse to go ahead and do that. Yeah, it looks really lush now with the in the middle of it. So yeah, there you go. If you're doing a desert biome one, you can now uh, go ahead and switch out the short grass um, that's in there for the very, very lush green grass there. So I think that'd be, um, yeah, Planet Zoo Palm Springs edition. There you go. Exactly, exactly. So awesome. Well, hey, that is gonna go ahead and do it, my friends, uh, for our weekly uh, community showcase. You know what's so funny about that is that it took us about an hour um, and this took me the longest to set up. It's funny, like, 
It takes me the longest to set up whenever it's like individual items, like workshop items or like mods. It takes me so long to set up, but we go through it like so quick. In comparison to like, if we get a bunch of zoos, like full on zoos to go through, we it takes us like two hours to go through it or whatever. Like either way, it's fine. I'm, I'm down to hang out for a while. Y'all know that, but it's just funny to see like what takes me more time to type up and get organized makes us go by like really quick and what's really easy for me to get organized makes us uh takes us a long time to go through so we <laughs> but anyways yeah hey that's gonna go ahead and do it for me today for our weekly community showcase again if you'd like to please go ahead and submit something to our discord um there we'd love to have you and not only um for that but we also um our, our discord is kind of blowing up lately it's just kind of getting a lot more people joining um a lot of people are interacting in the um pretty much every single section we're doing great community games so uh, we're doing like rec fest and uh, some Valheim and uh, Among Us and we're gonna be starting to set up some more just kind of general like card games and other free games that you can kind of play online with each other so yeah if you want a kind of fun uh, discord that's kind of growing uh, really really fast with a great community attached to it go ahead and join the discord and hang out with us all there so hey uh, I am uh, off the rest of tomorrow and everything um, so I will see you all Monday and um, Monday I believe we're gonna jump back either into some Planet Zoo or Valheim because I'm having a ton a ton a ton of fun in uh, Valheim I to get our village built up there but i also want to get the children's zoo built up in thornton hills zoo too so it's kind of a it's kind of a double-edged sword right now i want to do all the things right so <laughs> but all right hey uh enjoy the rest of your weekend thanks so much for hanging out if you're celebrating valentine's day do that and stuff <laughs> but uh yeah we'll talk to y'all later thanks so much for hanging out bye